you might have noticed that we have a new intro for the YouTube channel. Well, that is because the hard drive was damaged and I lost like a ton of footage and all the projects I've been working on are totally gone and it was really depressing. But I got to make a new intro. <laughs> So comment below, tell me what you think of the new intro. I put it together in like five minutes, so I'm not attached to it, I could definitely change it. But you know what's not depressing? It's killing us full, and we're gonna unload it. Oh yeah! These mugs, I made them all. That video's not out yet. It's not out yet. Everyone watching this, do you like just totally inside make fun of my Minnesota accent all the time? Gotta clean the lens a little bit. All right, let's unload this guy. I only have eight minutes left of recording on this memory card, so we gotta go quick. Look at that big bowl. Nice, I don't think it worked at all. So that's awesome. I love when things don't warp. It's weird I even have to say that. Got some mugs in the process. I hope you don't mind. They're right there. Boom! Got a couple Minnesota mugs with stars in them. We've been selling so many of these. I don't know if it's because of the YouTube channel or what, but uh, we, we've been selling so much pottery. And my supply is getting dangerously low. Nice. Got some more of these like little tumblers. Those are cool. God, I gotta, I gotta redo the bottom of, of my kiln shelves again. Here we got a big Northern Lights vase thing. Oh, this is kind of an interesting kiln. Got a lot of different stuff in here. I'm getting down there. So this was a bowl. That's like half blue on one side, half green on the other side, with the ocean drip there and the sea green there. That turned out really. I dubbed that before. I do like half on one side and half on the other side, and I feel like it never turns out in my head. Or it just never turns out in real life like what I think it's gonna in my head. That's a nice bowl too, that's ocean drip right there. Another big ocean drip bowl. Turned out beautifully. Got the ridges in there, which just makes it, like if you can see right in here, just like that pools right there, it looks like a waterfall or something. And then, love that, love it. So you can just look at this one real quick while I got a bunch more of these Northern Light tumblers. Those all turned out great. So for this one, I just really wanted to manipulate the sides so that they. Sorry about the background noise. Our uh, little thing is going. We're making gelato upstairs right now. So Sam is making gelato right now for Taylor's wedding, which I am shooting tomorrow. Saturday. Anyway, so for this one, I create those ridges around the, the edge and then I take my finger and I go like this. So it's really like, it's manipulated both ways, which I think just feels, just feels cool. The more that I do pottery, the more that I don't like things that are just perfectly circle, as you can tell by, and it's more of those tumblers. Oh, look how good that glaze is. I don't mean to brag, but drip, 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 drip. Oh, nothing on the bottom. Like, that takes time. That's just so nice. Love it! Love it, love it, love it, love it. I don't think you're ready for this one. I don't think you're ready for these. But I'm gonna show you anyway. Because I haven't done a video about this yet. And so I don't want to spoil anything. I am making these little planters with holes in the bottom. You see the hole? And they are for succulents. I'll show you. So, I got all these little succulents. You can buy like a 20 pack from Amazon. It's like for 35 or 40 bucks or something. And now we're gonna put succulents in here. So I'll like take dirt and stuff and then plant the succulent in there and then sell the whole package together. Isn't that like such a great idea? Thanks Nicole, shout out to Nicole Tesh. That was all her idea this summer. And then I found those succulents on Amazon. They shipped them and I got 20 of them in there and awesome. Succulents are just, they're cool. They don't take that much maintenance. So they say, I don't really know yet. I mean, I'll probably kill them all, but I got a bunch of those in here now. So these two, these three are all those succulent pots. 
I'll put in some pics of the finished whatever. Oh man, we're getting to five minutes. We gotta go faster. Bam. It's got a, that's sweet. It's got a huge lip. So when I threw this bowl, I threw it up and then I curled the lip over. So it's like got a really thick lip on there, which I think is kind of cool. And then I just like took my finger and pinched it all the way around. But that's beautiful, gorgeous. And it's not warped. Oh, it's getting hot. And then the last thing are all succulent planters. So these all have those holes in the bottom. Little succulent planters. So we'll see, I have a feeling that they all sell well and that they'll be cool just because they're kind of different. And All right, well this is a quick unloading. So, tell me what you think. I'm gonna do a whole video about the succulent thing in the future, um, just because I do think that they're gonna be that cool. But comment below, tell me what your favorite piece was that came out of here. Let me know if you have any video ideas that you want me to make. I see some and, you know, I just, there's lots of videos out there to make, so no shortage of ideas. I'll get there, I'll get there. But, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, comment, like, hit the bell button to be notified, all the usual stuff. We'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a good day.